This is an example of what is often termed a steel lever Morse telegraph key. This design was introduced by American Morse key manufacturer J. H. Bunnell in 1881. As the name suggests, it uses a steel lever, and this is held between two bearings. Using a steel lever rather than a brass one, it overcame issues of wear that were being experienced with brass levers. Although the design's over a hundred years old, this style of Morse key is still available today from many outlets and from many manufacturers. The particular Morse key we see here probably dates from around the 1920s and it's mounted on a small board to give it stability, otherwise it would need to be fixed to the telegraph operating table. This key has the words telegraph key and AT&T Co in the top end of the main oval base ring for the key. Some other examples of this type of key are known to have the words Western Electric on some of the piece parts and therefore were probably made by that company for AT&T. It's quite possible the same is true for this one. In terms of its construction, this style of Morse key consists of an oval metallic base ring which has two bearings on each of the flatter sides of the oval. The steel lever is held between the two bearings and these have adjustments to take up any wear. There are also adjustments at the end of the lever away from the operator to give the required gap, and there's another adjustment for the spring tension. Its construction means that the key is relatively light, and this was ideal for American telegraph operators as they were often itinerant and took their own telegraph keys with them. For more information check out the description area for links to other videos and web pages, and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you.